Hello, my name's Simon Smithers and I'm the Head of Engineering for Higher Education Programmes here at Warwickshire College Group. It's been recognised by UK Engineering that there is 124,000 engineering jobs needed per year until 2024. And we within uh, Warwickshire College Group are here to try and help the UK uh, achieve that target by offering a range of programmes within HE Engineering. There's a misconception that engineering is a dirty trade. That isn't the case. There's some highly technical roles that are required within engineering, which include sectors such as the rail industry, the automotive industry, and the electrification industry. We're here at Rugby College today. This is one of three sites where we deliver both FE and HE programmes on a full-time, part-time, and day release basis. Hello, my name is Colin Meekle and I'm the Head of the Full-Time Engineering Provision for Warwickshire College Group. As such, I look after our, our HE provision for full-time students across all their centres. We currently have available a HND in General Engineering, which is run at our Rugby Centre, but also will be available at our Trident and Evesham centres. Students study on this and then can uh, will be able to progress on to a degree top-up uh, in general engineering at the completion of the course. To join one of our HND courses in general engineering, students need to have an existing level three in an engineering related subject, A-level qualifications which relate in terms of to an engineering course of study, or mature students can also access the course via a one-year access to HE engineering course which reinforces their existing qualifications. Our HND courses are common across all three centres, that is Rugby, Trident and Eversham, and students study in a progressive manner, achieving in the first year a HNC and then a second year the HND. The qualification is general engineering, so students study a range of qualifications including CAD and 3D printing, design, electronics, as you can see from the equipment we have here, which we're currently in an electronics lab, sustainability, project management, management in an engineering environment, and all the skills related to enable you to access uh, future courses or future progression routes across a variety of engineering disciplines. We are now in one of our CAD suites. CAD is computer aided design. All our facilities are common across all our centres and are regularly updated each year to meet industry requirements. This includes both equipment and software. Typically students use a range of different software uh, techniques within uh, the classroom environment. Typically on the screen as you can see is a diagram in 3D of a pump which then we can progress to be manufactured on a 3D printer. From the CAD design suite we've now progressed to 3D design. This allows you to develop a model of your ideas. The knowledge that you gain with these units and the other units you study allows you to progress into the world of engineering. These include automotive, transport, aerospace, or aeronautical. These all have job roles within them that you can achieve with the qualifications that you gain on the course. So within engineering, we offer uh, a range of programmes, HNC, HND and degree programmes. These programmes are day release basis and range in duration over one to two years. The majority of these programmes include things like, for example, manufacturing processes, uh, mechanical principles, the maths, the science, CAE as you see here, and all these things linked together to help you when you're an engineer within industry to build your career for the future. 
so you may already be working within the industry. So to gain entry onto the qualification, what we're looking for is people who have got a level three in engineering with further maths, an A-level in maths or physics, but we'll also consider people with industry experience as well. Once you've achieved this qualification, it could provide you with the opportunity to progress within your organisation or somewhere else.